So in this video we just want to talk for a couple minutes about some considerations when you are graphing functions of two variables using GeoGebra, so doing uh, graphs in three-dimensional space. I'm not going to be too big on having people hand draw things when we have a computer, computer algebra systems that can do that for us. I mean I think it's a good exercise to do some hand drawing but in general uh, three, uh, 3D graphing is going to be more easily done in a computer algebra system. So I'm just going to increase my font size here so things are more visible. So if I'm going to graph a function of two variables in my view menu, I want to pull up my 3D graphics menu. And then you can close that 2D graphics window out. So the first thing, first thing to recognize in GeoGebra is it's going to place its x-axis by default right here and the y-axis here. So if we want to move it into the position that we're accustomed to seeing it in, in mathematics, typically, we're going to use the rotate graphics view and it's going to come down and it's always going to be a left click and hold so to rotate I left click and hold and then I can rotate my axes so my x-axis and y-axis are in the positions I'm accustomed to I can rotate up and down by left clicking and holding left to right so I can rotate by left click and holding any direction I want to the move graphics view when I've got all four arrows showing like I do right here, if I left click and hold I can move left, right, back and forth so you can move it rigidly in any direction that you wish. If you're in the move graphics view, if you move that to an axis and get the single arrows, left click and hold, you can then expand or contract the scaling of that axis and you can do that for any of the axes you wish. So I can expand and contract those axes. Um, I'm going to graph the function f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared and we know that z equals f of x, y. f of x, y is representing the outputs on the vertical axis. So we do have the option of just typing z equals down in the input bar like I'm doing right now and I can go z equals x squared plus y quantity squared and I get a nice parabolic um, uh, paraboloid, sorry, I get a nice paraboloid. But you can see that in the algebra window it kind of has a funky representation and in general in general what I'm going to say is that doing a z equals is not going to be your best bet especially if you're trying to do more than just look at or visualize the surface and I've noticed sometimes if I do z equals, sometimes I get uh, some, some glitchy behavior in the 3D graphing window. So in general, what I'm going to suggest is using the actual function notation, which for most things that you want to do is going to be a little bit more useful. So instead of going z equals, I'm going to suggest usually that it's going to be better to, to do f of x, y. Not always. There are some exceptions. But I'm going to do f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared and hit enter and there I've got my my graph if I go in to my rotate graphics window I can then left click and hold and I can look under the interior of the paraboloid I can look at it from underneath so I can look at it from different perspectives I think the the one of the reasons that this is a, a, a more efficacious way of typing the function is that it allows you to do things with the function. So for example, I could go f of 2 comma 3. I could evaluate the function at 2, 3 just by plugging 2 and 3 into the function notation and then the, uh, the numeric output is going to show up in my algebra window. We could even experiment and I could say what's f of x comma Two, what happens if you hold y constant and there it is down in the 2d graphic window which I could actually pull the uh, two-dimensional graphics window up and see what I get when I hold y constant at 2 so there's some things that there's some flexibility to what you can do with function notation in subsequent videos we're going to be looking at taking what, what are called partial derivatives. We're going to be taking derivatives of multivariable functions and the f of x, y notation is going to be superior for that as well because if I type derivative in my function bar it'll say hey derivative function and variable 
or function variable and number. So these are going to be useful functions for us to use. So if I go to click, for example, derivative function, now I can just type the function name in. I can say f of x, y, and GeoGebra knows uh, to use the function I have up here, f of x, y. And then I can say which variable I want to take the derivative with respect to. So what we're going to find out in the next uh, next homework assignment is we take derivatives of two variable functions either with respect to the x or the y variable. So here GeoGebra is letting me say uh, feed you the function I want the derivative of and now I can say hey I want the derivative with respect to x and hit enter and it will display that for me. And then of course I can uh, go into my graphics window and rotate and I can look at these from different perspectives. I could I try to find the intersection of those two. Uh, somewhere in here there's an, there's an intersect tool. If I can remember where to find it. Let's see, where is it at? Intersect two surfaces. So I could say intersect this with the derivative. It's not wanting to do it for me. That might be my computer bogging down not handling the 3D graphics very well. Let's try one more time. Intersect two surfaces. This surface with this surface. It's not wanting not wanting to do it for me. And this is this is me being on an old laptop more than anything. It struggles with the 3D menu. I usually have to work on my other computer when I'm doing any of the 3D work, but you can intersect surfaces by selecting the two objects, usually by clicking the objects either in the viewing window or in the algebra window, which is not letting me do now. But bottom line, what I'm saying is the function notation usually is going to be more efficacious for you in terms of getting things done that you need to get done.